Welcome, College Online Ministry and Encouragement. I'm Reverend Jewel Williams here with our Sunday message for October the 20th. Our theme is Enter God's Rest, Time for R&R, &R, Release, Renewal, and Restoration. And we're continuing in our lessons for October, which is Enter God's Rest by Speaking Up and Speaking Out. You can find us on our website, williamsinnovativenetwork.webley.com. Our scriptural theme is found in Titus 3, verses 4 through 6. But when the kindness and love of God our Savior appeared, he saved us, not because of righteous things we had done, but because of his mercy. He saved us through the washing of rebirth and renewal by the Holy Spirit, whom he poured out on us generously through Jesus Christ. And I just left off last week before we could move to speak it up and speaking out. You had to know what God has called you to do. So we're talking about that now. We're going to turn to how jo what John was called to do. And so we're reading from Matthew chapter 3. Verse 7 through 11, let's have a word of prayer. Father, we thank you. Father, we ask that you would help us as we learn from John's life what you're calling us to do, how we are to speak up and to speak out. Now just have your way. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Starting with verse 7. But when he saw many Pharisees and Sudacees coming to watch him baptize, he denounced them. You brood of snakes, he exclaimed. Who warned you to flee God's coming wrath? Prove by the way you live that you have repented of your sins and turned to God. Don't just say to each other, we're safe, for we are descendants of Abraham. That means nothing. For I tell you, God can create children of Abraham from these very stones. Even now, the axe of God's judgment is poised, ready to sever the roots of the trees. Yes, every tree that does not produce good free fruit will be chopped down and thrown into the fire. I baptize with water those who repented of their sins and turned to God. But someone is coming soon who is greater than I am, so much greater that I am not worthy even to be his slave and carry his sandals. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and with fire. So what did John the baptizer speak up about? Well, Lifting something to the point that is considered higher. That's really what we're talking about speaking of. It's the lifting something to a point that is considered higher. In this case, to speak up means to point others to what is higher than us, and that is Christ. And he was he was speaking up about sin. because He says, repent of your sins and turn to God for the kingdom of heaven is near. And that is really... What we as Christians have to do, we have to speak up about sin. We have to ask, tell people to repent of their sins and turn to God. And the whole truth is when we're telling them to repent of their sins, we're not asking them to look at us. Then we're not telling them to compare themselves with us. Because people oftentimes will say, well, why should I be saved? I'm better than you. You're not better than me. I might not be better than you. You might be doing some things better than me, but the difference is I'm not pointing you to me. I'm trying to get your focus to look higher, which is at Jesus Christ. When you reflect yourself against Christ, then you see your need and you can see your sin. John also was lifting up the power. He said, there's one coming who will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and with fire. You know, one of the things that is so important for us to understand is that part of this relationship we have with God with God. It allows us access to the power of God. It allows us to be able to step into who God is, step into who Jesus is, step into those provisions that, that he has for us. And it's, so it's important that we speak up about these things, that we lift our conversation, we lift others' thinking up to the place of understanding what sin is and understanding the power of God, that it comes to, to help us to be saved from our sins, but also comes to help us to see that we can be baptized with the Holy Spirit, we can have the Holy Spirit, and we can have the fire and the power and the anointing of Christ on our lives. So what did John the baptizer speak out about? Well, he to speak up was to lift something to the point that's considered higher and again, in this case, to point something to Jesus Christ. But to speak out is to make known, tell, utter, and follow by with. What do we speak out with? Out with the truth. In this case, to speak out means to make known, to tell what is needed, to speak out with the truth. And so there were different people that John the Baptist was dealing with. He had the, the, the Pharisees. He, he was speaking out. He was speaking the truth out to the Pharisees. And the, the, the Pharisees... They were those that were um, that were concerned about the traditions of men. The Pharisees were zealots for the ceremonies, for the power of the temple, and for the traditions of the elders. 
Yet what is missing in men's tradition is the power of God. Traditions are not wrong. Don't hear me. Hear me, hear me straight. Traditions are wrong. However, when we begin to exalt our ways above God's, we lose power. Traditions don't save anyone. They don't heal. They don't set free. Only God does. And what happens with us, if we begin to take our traditions, the things we do, and we begin to set them higher than God, then we have gotten out of the right order. And so he speaks out to the traditions of men that your traditions can never be more important than who God is. Your traditions are not to hold people's back or to, to set themselves above God. Because if we're trying to get people to come to Christ out of our traditions, they won't get saved. They won't get set free. They won't be healed or delivered. It is Christ and Christ alone that we must present. And then he was speaking out to the Sadducees. See, they denied the supernatural power of God. The Sadducees ran into the other extreme and they denied the existence of the spirits and the future states. They did not want to, they didn't, they didn't believe in a lot of the supernatural ability. That was the power. They didn't believe in a lot of the power of God. And we have to be careful because there are those that don't believe God is a God of power, that he can do the miraculous. And some of them, to be honest, are in the church. They don't think God does the miraculous anymore, that he can't heal people from body, their bodies. He can't set people free. He can't do these things. I, I just had a conversation not that long ago with someone and they were talking about on their mission trips and how they saw blind eyes open that that couldn't had never been able to see and if you, she hadn't been there and truly sometimes because we haven't seen those things we believe them as fables but they're not god is still doing the supernatural and we have to believe those things so what's the point I want us to understand about this speaking up and speaking out? God desires his people to speak up about sin and the power of God to save. That is our, our ultimate purpose. That really is what we were born to do, to tell people if we have a relationship with Jesus Christ, he saved us from our sins. And if we allow him, his power will work within us. And we have to be willing to speak up about sin and to tell people this isn't the way to go this isn't the life for them and then to direct them to to clear the way as john the baptist is to make ready the way we have to clear the way of any obstacles and we have to make sure we don't become an obstacle in the road we have to make sure we clear the road so that people can hear about christ God desires his people to speak out about, about the traditions of men and the denial of God's power. God wants us to speak out and say, no, it is not our traditions that will save people. It is not, it, we cannot deny God's power. We cannot deny that he's doing the supernatural. We cannot deny that he's healing, he's touching, that he's doing these things. I know sometimes people get afraid. Well, if we talk too much about the supernatural, people just want the stuff. Well, People sometimes need the stuff. People sometimes need to see and know that God is real. We're in a world that is going to hell. We're in a world where so many things are falling apart. What's wrong with telling them that there's a God that is not dead? There's a God that's alive and working. He has power and ability to help them in their lives. That's the things that we need to be sharing. Because if we've had it done in our lives, surely we should be willing to share it. And you and I will not find peace or rest until we are walking in the calling God has on our lives. And I ask you the question, are you ready? Are you ready to step out of your comfort zone? Are you ready to just get kind of radical for Christ? Are you ready to step up and say, I want to find that rest and that peace. I want to enter God's rest. And I want to be willing to walk the walk. I want to be able to, to do what he's called me to do. I want to step out and live a purpose life. I don't want to live anymore just going through the motion. I don't want to live anymore just going through the tradition of things, going to church on Sunday because it's expected of me. I want to go to church on Sunday, but I want to go and meet God. I want to have an interaction with him. I want to feel his power and his anointing. And so are you ready to step out? Are you ready to speak up and to speak out about the things of God? Let's have a word of prayer. Father, I thank you. I'm so grateful, Lord, that you remind us and show us, Lord, that there is a purpose for our lives. Help us to speak out, Lord, against anything that would set itself above you, that we would tear down everything, every spirit, every power, every thought that would try to set it above who you are in our lives. Father, we just ask that you would equip us right now in the name of Jesus 
to be able to do what you've called us to do. We ask you to set us aflame and set us a fire, Father, that the Holy Ghost Spirit in us would, would burst forth and that we would step out in boldness to do what you've called us to do. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you.